Hello, hello everyone. Mr. Slope Guy here today to help you with fractional exponents. Going to go through some of the basics, a little introduction of what to do when we have an exponent with a fraction. So the first thing we're looking at are some exponents. So let's review a couple quick examples of exponents like 4 to the third, 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. 4 to the negative 3, using the law of negative exponents, that's 1 over 4 to the 3rd, or 1 over 4 times 4 times 4, which is 1 over 64. Now, 4 to the 1 half is equal to the square root of 4. So an exponent of 1 half is asking for square root, and we can do square root of 4 is 2 because 2 times 2 is 4. Oh, that's weird. We've never seen something like that before. One half as an exponent, meaning the square root of. And we all know two squared is four, so the square root of four is two. So nine to the one half, an exponent of one half is asking for square root, so the square root of nine is three. 25 to the one half is asking for the square root of 25, and the square root of 25 is 5. Remember cube roots? So like if I have 5 to the third power is 125, 5 times 5 times 5. So the cube root, that little 3 on the outside of the radical sign, is asking for cube root of 125, and the cube root of 125 is 5. This 3, the index of the radical is 3. This number on the outside of the radical sign is called the index or the root. Square roots are so common, we normally don't write a 2 there. You can if you want, but you don't have to write a 2 there. But there are other roots, like in this case, or other indexes we have. In this case, we have 3 asking for cube root, and we can have 3, 4, 5, and so forth. We can have all different types of indexes or roots, um, not just the common ones of square roots. So our rule would be b to the 1 nth, that denominator, that n is telling us that we have the nth root of b. So the denominator tells us the root or the index. So this number is the same as this number. So like when we did 27 to the 1 third power is asking for this number three is asking for the cube root. So the denominator is the index. So then we need cube root of 27. Three times three is nine times three is 27. So the cube root of 27 or 27 to the one third power is three. So what does a fractional exponent do? So nine to the one half is asking for the square root of 9, and the square root of 9 is 3. So if I have 8 to the 1 third power, that 3 is the index, or the 3 is the root, is asking for the cube root of 8. The cube root of 8, looking for the same number, multiply 3 times to get 8. So I know your calculator can do that, but I think I can do some of these easy ones in my head, because 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8. So the cube root of 8 is 2. 2 to the third is 8. How about 64 to the 1 third? Well, that 3 on the bottom is asking for cube root. So cube root of 64, 4 to the third is 64. So 64 to the 1 third is 4. So on this one, we just kind of skipped even right in the radical sign because we knew 1 third was just asking for a cube root. Most of the time I would show that step, I would show it as the cube root of 64 and then 4. Particularly as we just get started on these. How about the 32 to the 1 fifth power? Well, that 1 fifth is asking for the fifth root of 32, and 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 32. So the finding the fifth root of 32 is 2. So, how could I write a to the 1 6 as a radical? Well, a to the 1 6 would be the sixth root of a. m to the 1 half, square root of m. Notice how on that I could write the 2 or not write the 2 for just square root. 
How about you guys try both of these? Pause the video real quick, change these from radicals to having fractional exponents. Write each radical using rational exponents. Pause the video here. All right, welcome back. So the fifth root of b is equal to b to the one-fifth. And the square root of w is equal to w to the one-half as an exponent. All right. Quick and easy, get you guys started. That denominator in the exponent will tell you the root or the index. Have a great day.